Hey, what up, YouTube? I told y'all I was bringing my motherfucking ass back up in this bitch. What up, what up? I'm up in my trusty ass attic, as y'all can see. It's hot than a bitch up in this motherfucker. I wish this bitch up here had essential air. Damn. But, oh well, I got on my little white tee. I ain't tripping, because when I do go back down the fucking stairs, I'll be by Central Air Coast. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoying y'all evening. I want to still give a fabulous shout out to my girl, BBW, sweet and sexy girl, getting them 2,000 subbies, baby. Told you, one of these days, I'm getting there slowly but surely. I'm getting it. Congrats once again on that, girl. Nothing like it. And I know everybody that's on my station, y'all already know her. She helped me out. She had y'all come over and check out my channel. And once again, like I told her, much love to her for that. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys out there is appreciating my videos, which are fucking fuckery or random ass shit. Or either help somebody out, some of that nature. But keep watching, y'all, because there's more shit to be coming from me. And once again, congratulations. BBW, sweet and sexy, 631. That's what's up. Now, anyway, I told y'all I was coming back up in here. Um, one of my um, subs, um, she wanted me to do this for her because she's been, we've been talking over the phone. Basically, I didn't write none of it because normally I write down the stuff, you know, but we chatted over the phone lines or whatever. So, uh, I basically got the full length conversation stuck in my head. And you be strong, girl. But I'm going to do it for you. And like I told y'all, all my subbies out there, feel free to um, do a video response. And also, comment. Because she would like to see what everyone's thoughts and opinions are on this matter. Now, I'm going to go ahead with the shits. First of all, we was talking about, she told me her, um, her um, parents is real strict right now. She's 26 um, years old. She stays with her mother and her father. Her father is a minister. I do believe, I hope I'm getting that right. I believe she did say he's a minister of the church or whatever. And um, her mother is kind of strict as well. She's 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 the member of the church, the first lady of the church, and everything like that. You know, I know how that is. Now, her problem is, you know, she wants to come out to them because she has a strong urgency to do it. She feels that she's up in age. She says she's been gay. Well, she realized she was she had been gay since she was about uh maybe about fifteen, you know. But she never went out on it or you know got a, a significant other or had a girlfriend. She went out with guys, you know, to had the fact of it all. But uh, she said she played that role, but she kind of got tired of doing it. And like I told her. You know, I can understand that because when I came out, I was about, shit, um, whew, I think I was, shit, I had to wait till I was like 20, I think I turned 21 when I told my family about my lifestyle and everything, and they accepted, I heard some knick-knack shit, but you gonna hear that shit, but at least I was grown, you know, I waited, I wasn't young and sassafras in my ass around here all like that but you know she said that she wants to talk and let them know about her lifestyle because she's interested in now on dating you know going out she don't feel like she wanna have her girl well she's she's not with anyone right now but she wants to go out dating and it's a particular female that she does have um Oh, shit, I don't know what that was. Have feelings for, but, you know, she don't want to pursue because she's scared 
you know, to just commit and do all this because she hasn't came out and told her family members about it. And also being said, she says she is so scared. You know, it's just every time she gets the urgency to go to them, it's like they're, you know, like trying to knock her off from, like they might know their cells, but they just don't want her to tell them about it or something. I don't know. But she said every time she do, they start talking about the Bible and, you know, the Lord, and they want her to do this for the church, you know, and all this and all of that. And like I told her, okay, basically, I told her, well, from my opinion, I would tell them. You know what I'm saying? Because the longer you hold it in, it's not going to get no better. You know, you're going to let your whole life pass you back. Trust me. Trust. Your whole life is going to go by you just because of the fact that you being scared. And then you like, then she's like, you know, her mother and them is just, to into the church but like I told her you're gonna have to go and tell them how you feel also she goes on saying that she's scared that she might get kicked out the house and all of them type of nature she's not working right now so she don't want to just get kicked out of her house like I told her you know you grown you're 26 you'll be almost 30 in four more years you're a grown woman go to them let them know how you feel. If they want, if they love you enough, God is love, okay? Now, if they feel the urgency to want to kick her out into the streets and there are some God's people, they are nothing but hypocrites. And excuse me for saying that, but yes, a hippo fucking crit. Because no way in the hell I'm going to sit up and tell my kids, get the fuck out because you're gay. Or I'm not going to tolerate with that. You bear these children. Love them. Whatever it is their lifestyle preferences is. You know, that's why we have so many people out here committing suicides and killing themselves over these type of things. Because they're holding shit in and the parents don't want to take time out to listen. Reach out. And then when they pass on, you at the funeral having an aneurysm or wondering why come they couldn't come to you and tell you this. You know what I'm saying? So like I told her, she says she's scared she may get kicked out. She want to come out. So y'all, I'm, I'm not going to stir nobody wrong. Like I told her, I said, look, you're going to get some comments and people are you going to have to listen to them. Right is right, wrong is wrong. My opinion is for her, like I told her, go and tell your parents. Sit them down on one of them days. Anytime you get that urgency, go sit down and talk to them. Let them know. Don't be scared to come out. Don't hold that in. That is a hard thing to do. Trust me, I've been there. You know, you only going to do what you want to do to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? We can't live our lives for our parents, you know, or how they want us to be. You know, they could teach us right from wrong, but at the end of the day, you have to let these kids live their lives. You know, and I could feel her fear with them being in the church, but baby, I don't give a... I'm, I'm sorry. I go to church. I haven't been on the regular like I'm supposed to, but I believe in God. I pray every night. But at the end of the day, he told me what to do. He told me, be happy. Be happy. I cried my ass out because I said, Lord, I know, you know, blase splee. I just can't. All I heard was this one word, be happy. I love you. So with that being said, sweetie, I advise you to go and talk to your parents tonight after this video. You know. Let them know how you feel and go on with your life. You shouldn't have to sit up and live yourself to be miserable. And all of my subs out here, they will tell you that. They will. Be happy. You know. Whew. But yeah, you know, she just scared, you know. And you got them type of parents that's like that. Like I said, you know. It is what it is. You're going to have to let them know. You can't hold that in, boo. You can't. So all my subscribers out there, y'all know what to do. Oh, shit. I hate when this do this. 
Y'all know what to do. Do a video response for the sister if you want to. Or just leave down your thoughts and your comments about this type of situation. Because no one should be unhappy in life. Never. We supposed to be happy. Not miserable. It is what it is. And I'm just going to keep it moving. You know. But with that all being said, y'all, 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 hook this sister up tonight, y'all. Make her get her heart at, lift the burden up off her heart. I wouldn't steer you wrong, you know. Do that video response or put your comments down here and let the sister know what's really going on. But y'all ain't gonna hold y'all too long. Um... I'm about to get out this hot ass attic and go back downstairs to some air. But I had to come out here because I told her I'd do it for her. And anytime I tell somebody I'm going to do something, y'all know I'm going to do it. So anybody out there, like I said, if y'all got any type of issue and you just don't want to address it, feel free to come to me. I will put it out on the video. You know, you can get some consolation from my subscribers and anyone else that's out there going through the same thing. Let me know. I'll help you out, boo. That's what I'm here for. Other than doing some random ass videos. Because y'all know that's all I do anyways. <laughs> so, anyway, y'all. I'm up out of here, YouTube fam. Love y'all. Keep watching. More shit is to be coming. Holla at your girl. I'm out of here.